Hello, this is Aaron Wall, and this is a free SEO video on doing keyword research. Um, whenever you uh, start keyword research, one of the best spots to start is looking at your own web server. And when you do that, you'll see some of the keywords you already rank for. And uh, Radiohead recently launched their album, and because they posted some of the lyrics on one of my sites, that sent a, that site a ton of traffic. And you can see there's a bunch of other terms that, uh, this is like a random blog, so the, the keywords are all just disorganized and uh, various things. But when you look, there's like over 4,977 terms that aren't on this short list. So that's why it's good to have an analytics thing instead of uh, just using your uh, server logs. But what you already rank for, it's easy to rank for more related keywords than it is to rank for entirely new keywords. Um, when you do keyword research, you want to start off with a, a seed list of keywords use word tracker or some other related keyword tool to find uh, popular related keywords and then you can dig deeper into the long tail um, so you start off with like chocolate and you find chocolate gifts then corporate chocolate gifts and then you might find stuff that may not relate to you directly or to your commercial interests like say chocolate recipes or chocolate brownie recipes or or maybe eventually you add that to your site if you do find a way to make it relevant and, and create content for it and um, then you you know, find other related groups such as like white chocolate and uh, uh, white chocolate truffles and, and there's different ways to organize the keywords like that. So given that, like you can go to competing sites and see how they organize it. So if you look, chocolate.com currently is promoting seasonal Halloween stuff, today's Halloween, and then they also offer offering uh, links by Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day and Christmas, and then you know other groups such as corporate birthday dark chocolate, white chocolate, and these are the types of ways you would categorize it, and they did a good job of that. And why it's so good to categorize your keywords and not just try to rely on ranking for the core ones is that um, this is recent research done by SEO Quake about um, the quantity of doorway pages ranking for different groups of uh, keywords, and in adult, porn, dating, cars, gifts, and casinos, in all major groups, they found that the more query or more keywords there were in the search query, the more spam pages there were in the search results on, on average. And what that means is that lower trust sites and lower trust pages are able to rank easier for longer queries than short queries. So by uh, going after some of the longer queries and using keyword modifiers, it makes it easier on you for your site to uh, rank because it's a lot easier to rank for unique uh, chocolate gift ideas than it is to rank for the word chocolate. And when looking for modifiers, you can always start off with chocolate, or if you're in the white chocolate section, you can do white chocolate. And um, Quintura shows like related keywords that that could be useful for finding, you know, related uh, phrases that people might might like. And there's a ton of other keyword researchers tools. Um, if you go to the tools section of SEO book and click through to the uh, keyword tools page you'll see like an, a big list of them all and they all have their their ups and downs don't look for any one of them to be the uh, singular authoritative source just look for them for ideas and then put the content on your site you know see what you rank for and then and then start looking at the keywords that way because you, you can't assume that any of the tools is going to know the exact volume and I also offer a tool in SEO book too for keyword research and it cross references and cross references and links through to a lot of the other keyword tools. Um, Google AdWords offers a, a really useful tool. What's nice about it is not only do they offer keyword variations, but they allow you to plug in a URL and show you what keywords they think are relevant to that URL, which is useful for seeing how well you optimize that page. And then compete.com will allow you to look at uh, keywords that a certain site ranks for. Like chocolate.com uh, gets a lot of traffic for stuff like gourmet chocolates and, and just chocolate or chocolates, chocolate truffles. And then when you look at some of the other sites, like say Hershey's.com, a lot of their keywords are brand related, and you can see that they did some uh, pumpkin related promotions recently. And they also rank for some uh, higher authority terms like uh, dessert recipes because their site's so authoritative. So I also created a spreadsheet of tips for keywords, 
when you decide what keywords you want to work on, it's best to make sure your page looks like a legitimate newspaper article rather than something stuffed by an SEO. Um, here's a couple more uh, links for data points as far as um, how diverse the, the keyword landscape is and shows how, how a lot of the keywords are still um, three words and four words and longer. Um, and if you use modifiers in your pages, you're going to rank for a lot more of those than if you you know just try to go after the core keywords. So some types of core keywords might be like auto insurance or Geico auto insurance, Louisville Slugger, Baseball Bat, SEO Book. And the idea is if you brand plus product name usually describes what people really want. And then some people look for more generic stuff like say like a laptop or computer or uh, camera or digital camera. And then they get brought from the generic uh, general topics on into specific brands. So there's a lot of ways that keywords can be classified, and they could be transactional, informational, um, there could be location-based modifiers, um, people can search for stuff with prices, uh, or other such modifiers in it. And when you, when you create your pages, make sure that if there's any specific part numbers or brands, that those end up in the, uh, in, in the pages. And if you need help looking at what some good uh, internal link structures look like, look at some of the shopping search engines, like shopping.com. They provide a lot of good ways to dig through their um, keywords, just keywords by the, their navigation. And some of the transactional related keywords that people might use for would be like find, buy, get, purchase, um, sell, search. And for more informational stuff, they might look for information, info, tips, learn, ideas plans, samples, examples, and these people might not be ready to buy, but after they see that, they might end up going through and buying something. Some people look for local stuff, based in their state, city, or county, or zip code, or area. Um, some people look for stuff that's expensive, cheap, discount, um, and other price-related queries. Clothes have a lot of uh, modifiers in there, too, like, like colors, sizes, fit types, whether it's baggy or tight, straight jean, boot coat, you know, and then some people have, whether well, they're looking for something that's professional looking or sporty or comfortable. <clears throat> and then within any profession, there's like subclassifications and subclassifications and then industry-related jargon that should appear on pages. And within any company, there's the different um, levels of management and workers. Um, there's family relationships, there's states of being, and if people feel like a state of being is something that's inhibiting them or stopping them from being who they could be, they'll spend a lot of money trying to fix it or trying to outsource the blame onto someone else for why that fault exists. Um, religious keywords, a lot of people search for that stuff, identify greatly with their religions, their political beliefs, or some people group by the products they own, such as like Mustang drivers or uh, some people even like Ferraris. Um, there's time sensitive keywords and some people who are overdue or need stuff quickly, sometimes they're desperate and they're willing to overpay or are easy to convert. So there's lots of different ways you can think of ways to um, people can go through keywords. And also when you um, create your keyword maps, a lot of times it's good to compare one item to another or compare one brand to another such that you not only rank for when people try to compare items but you also provide that um, that added step of uh, guiding them towards conversion by helping them decide which uh, item is better for them. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you.